Always fun to talk to uh, the folks at the Goodspeed Opera House, especially when they have a new show coming. And this is a new show, uh, which may sound a little familiar for two reasons. One, uh, because it's a very long-standing, famous children's book that's over 100 years old, as Tim said before the break. And then we'll get to the other reason in just a second. Watch us say, say hello from the soon-to-be world premiere of Anne of Green Gables, a musical version of the book. They're waving hi, this Pierre Murray and <laughs> Michelle Ventimiglia. Do I have that right? I was practicing yes. it. Good, yes. excellent. Yes. Nice to have you aboard. Let's talk about the show and then we'll get into your characters because this is a, a beloved children's story, isn't it? Yes. Tell us, yeah. about, tell us about it if you don't know it. Um, it's about Anne Shirley, an orphan girl that gets adopted by two uh, siblings on a farm. And she is basically just a young girl looking for home, looking for a tribe, looking for friendship and mm -hmm. love. Mm -hmm. And this show does a really good job of portraying all of that. And we've adapted the beloved story to be really elevated and innovative. And mm -hmm. Jennifer Trudeche is doing an incredible job with the pictures in the show. Yeah. And the choreography and the cast is amazing. Mm -hmm. So I uh, really like Michelle, it. you play uh, Diana, one of her friends, and Pierre, you play, you play Gilbert, kind of like her, I don't want to say her, her competition, but, but kind, of, kind of our arch enemy. Can we go with that? I mean, I would exactly say her competition, you know, I think they have that, that classic, you know, relationship you have when, you, when you're growing up with someone where, mm -hmm. you know, you, you, you meet head to head intellectually and, and, and romantically and there's, there's, you know, a lot of tension and, and fighting back and forth, but there's usually a lot of truth beneath that. Sure, you know, like, Bub yeah. bubbling un underneath. Uh, both yeah. of you have experience on Broadway. Uh, you, 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 let's see, um, Pierre, you were in the unders, you were in the, in the swing for Aladdin, right? Yes, yes. I was recently, just until a few weeks ago, I was in the company of Aladdin on Broadway, and, um, uh, uh, covering the role of Aladdin and, and dancing. And, and there you go. Show. And Michelle, I love this. You, you played Cheetah Rivera's daughter in a show, didn't you? I played the younger version. Of oh, there you go. Okay, yeah, that's clo close. Close. <laughs> I, I had it all, almost right. But what, when <laughs> almost, you, well, yeah. almost when when you when you talk about you know Broadway, and compare it to the Good Speed, where these shows develop and some of them turn out to be big deals. Uh, does that add extra weight on your shoulders? You know, I think the thing for me, having been in a, in a show like Aladdin for a few years, is I, I don't feel like weight uh, on my shoulders. I feel like weight off my shoulders. Oh. You know, I think it's such a beautiful environment to create. There's there's so much breath here. You know, I think when you, you're involved in a show that's been established for a long time, mm -hmm. I think there's expectations to uphold with big characters like Aladdin and, and right. playing you know, versions of Cheetah Rivera. But here, there's so much being developed on on us that I feel mm -hmm. like there's much more room and, and breath to create in new ways that people haven't seen. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, it's for me it's an exciting difference between New York and here, sure. and then what we can create out, cultivate out here, and then bring to New York feels I mean, exciting. And right, fresh. and Michelle, you've been with the with the show ever since it started really developing uh, back in the early days in, in work, workshop form, right? Yes. 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 Um, the writers saw me do a very bizarre workshop of a musical in New York City, and they just said, I think you're the perfect Diana Perry, and they've been ah. very loyal to me, and <laughs> I've been a part of the development since, and it's been such a lovely You know, we, we, we were talking about, you know, added pressure, or, you know, as, uh, as Pierre says, lesser pressure, but, you know, Anne, if you know the story, Anne of Green Gables, she, she's, a, she's a big redhead, and we just showed you some pictures of, of, the, uh, of the prep and, and, and the rehearsals, and you know, if you know the Good Speed Opera House history, there was another famous young redhead that went straight to Broadway, and of course we're talking yeah. about... Annie. Annie. There you go. Pop quiz there. Uh, the hopes that this is a, a new musical that will uh, follow in Annie's footsteps uh, and you guys will end up back on the Great White Way? Yes. Absolutely. I think another cool piece of information is our director, Jen Thompson, who's doing a really wonderful job. She was in uh, one of the original versions. Mm -hmm. of she was in the version that, that was here. Mm hmm. Yeah. So it's like a full circle sort of there moment. There you go. Know? Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. Our lucky charm. Yes. There you <laughs> go. Love it. Well, listen, Anne of Green, Green Gables, a new musical, uh, runs uh, starting on July 15th. So you guys got to get back to work, back to rehearsal. It runs through the summer. Hey, thanks for spending a little time for with us and, and break a leg as the show starts. Yes. Thank, thank you. you so much. We have